G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I just wanted to have a look at uh, some Abus rocks that I have. I have three in my collection which are these three here. Uh, this one over here is going to a friend of mine, good buddy over the States, so I uh, won't be opening that one. At the moment, the reason why I did this was I seen a video uh, by Adrian Weber ages ago and he, he, he highlighted a few issues with the Abuses about rust in the uh, in the shackle holes and also milled into the cylinder holes over here now this one here is a and well i believe it's the original ones which is the uh, series one these three are the all series two and um he also highlighted that some of the fitment wasn't great on the uh, actual cylinders over here uh, how they was popping out uh, one of his videos goes back to 2014 i think he was talking about uh, the misalignment of these and um, but what I'll do is I'll start with just having a quick look in the uh, cylinder holes of these ones I'll start with the uh, with the rock one what we got in here is basically this this rock one I see is no rust in this it looks looks actually really good um, I'm quite happy with this one you can actually look in, in, in the core as well and get the light just right there we go. So this one's actually good. I've got no issues with this one. That was quite good. I mean, they are hardened steel cases, and they chrome plate them, and you can actually see a bit of rust in the base of this one here, just over there, and and also there's some tarnishing up on the side there. So this one's probably not so good. Bit of rust in inside there as well. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we've got some rust in inside there as well, and uh, that one it's not so good. Uh, this is my my Abus rock. This is obviously not the closed shackle mod model. Uh, it actually looks good inside there. You can see there's a bit of. That's actually not rust. That's a, that's copper plating. So they would have put the copper on before they put the chrome plate. And just looking on this side, you know, on the inside, it's unused, this is brand new, and it's perfect. The chrome plating goes all the way in, there's no rust, no tarnishing whatsoever. The other thing that Adrian was talking about was the actual fitment of these anti-drill plates for the cylinders. And on this one here, to me it looks like it's perfectly 90 degrees. The one that Adrian had was sitting off more like a an angle something to that effect um, I've actually had a look at these and they actually sit in there perfectly this one has no problems at all sitting in there I had it tightened up it sits in flush all great hunky-dory it's tight there is a little bit slightly play in there but it actually has to sit on this little lip here and and then go in on the screw so that that's fine in my books um, these ones here, uh, this one has a stock core in it, stock cylinder, this one has a aftermarket, well third party, I think it's Master Locks off, off Association cylinder, nice and greasy. This one here is um, a C4 keyway. This, it's actually labelled Abus, but it comes with a C4. Not great. There's a bit of a, there's a bit of a, there's a high cut up up there, which is not too bad. But the rest is relatively flat. And this one over here is a decent bidding. Got the protection plate in there. This one here pops right out, unlike this one over here, which is oops obviously fixed oh, just grab that one um, the other thing I wanted to look at oops was um, the cylinders now looking at the box here actually says designed to accept Scandinavian or AUNZ oval cylinders so as far as I know we've got uh, we've got the oval uh, the um, the 570 ovals which is these um, identical to the to the Lockwood Oval in size but if we compare it to one of these 
asset this asset ad boy I have you can see that they're uh, they're a lot smaller than the than the than, than the asset I believe this is a Scandinavian so there's a fair bit of size difference in that so it you know basically won't won't fit in now this is going well not this one the other one the closed shackle is going to the states and I don't know what I know they sell this model over there they don't sell this one and um, I'm just wondering what what cylinder they have in there do they have the euro one or do they have the Australian one so that'll be interesting to find out we'll find out soon enough anyway that's about it for now um, I just wanted to keep it pretty tight this time because the other ones are sort of way too long and um, I'll have another video coming up shortly it's basically what I wanted to do was announce a 100 subscriber giveaway I've, I've gone a bit over that so that will be coming up hope you enjoyed it cheers guys bye